Tonight at 6, we're learning new details about the deadly double shooting inside a Broward Transit bus. We first brought you the story as breaking news yesterday. We are live on air and always streaming on CBS News Miami with the CBS News app. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Carly Barnett in for Lauren Pastrana. Tonight we are learning that the accused shooter has a long history of charges spanning several years. Yeah, we're also hearing from family members of one of the victims. CBS 4's Joe Murray joins us live in Fort Lauderdale with what they have to say about this. Joe? Well, Elliot, Carly, still all the talk about this unbelievable situation Thursday afternoon. It was only 24 hours ago. This was a crime scene in the Fort Lauderdale police parking lot. Tonight, we are hearing from the uncle of one of the men killed when that accused gunman opened fire on that county bus. He was a good guy. Just getting off of work. The uncle of Gregory Campbell Jr. grieving his violent death Thursday. He was one of two men killed when police say Jamal Myers opened fire on a Broward County bus, causing the driver to veer into oncoming traffic on Broward Boulevard and pull into the police parking lot. I'm still hurt right now. I ain't even go to work today because it hurt me. That's my nephew. Just getting off of work, trying to make it home. Hi, um, I am at the intersection of Northwest 11th Avenue and Broward Boulevard, and a Broward County Transit bus just was on the wrong side of the road. Surveillance showing that Broward bus driver desperately trying to navigate the deadly situation. She hit two cars in the process. Daniel Coles was in one of those cars, a taxi cab. Man, listen, right now I'm still shooken up. My body's aching. Yo, man, she's a hero. If she drove that far, when I thought it was somebody hijacking the bus, she's a hero, man. According to the arrest report, the suspect, Jamal Myers, is seen on surveillance in the bus pulling out a handgun, fires 12 rounds of the victims who were seated in the rear of the bus, reloaded, and fired an additional nine rounds. I thought I heard sounds. That's what scared me. I thought I heard sounds. That's why I got out the taxi. The suspect, Jamal Myers, has a long criminal history, including burglary and drug charges. After surrendering to police, he ended up being transported to the hospital. He did not make a bond court hearing Friday on murder and attempted murder charges. The uncle of victim Gregory Campbell Jr. said he hopes for justice. He needs to do life in prison. So the suspect's lawyer in bond court asked for a medical reset. It is unclear still if Myers is in the hospital or in the jail infirmary tonight. We do not know when his bond hearing will be. Two other people hurt in this incident remain hospitalized. Fort Lauderdale tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.